guys this is Blair from Nexo POS Dev Team. Today I'm going to show you how to make a supply on Nexo POS. So the first thing you need to do is to access to the inventory and we will check the inventory for one item. Okay so let me access to the item list. So we have one item here name item name. So I will make sure that this item is a physical item because we can only make a supply for physical item. So I will edit this item and then I will access to the inventory tab. Here the item is selected as physical item. Okay, that's great. So let me save this and go back to the item list. Now I will make a supply. To make a supply, you need two things. You need a supplier and you need to call the supply. You need to name the supply. Okay. So we already have a supplier here on this menu at the supplier list. We can see there is a supplier, that supplier. And now we need to go to the supply and new supply. Okay. So new supplier. From here, you have the search field where you can type the item name like this item. Every time that you click on one item, this item is automatically added to the supply cart. Okay, so now we have the purchase price here and we have the quantity. So let me just supply 100 quantity. Or let me say 120. Okay, so here you have the supply. The supply is created on this field, this section. You create the supply name and a description if you want. This helps you to group all the supply so that you can know easily when you did this or these pushes. It's really important for most of the owners. Okay, so let me just create a new supply. I will call it supply for item name made on which day let's say we are the 6th October okay 2017 good so now I will save it add a supply okay supply is created now you can see that here is the supply here and I will select it I will select it and I will select also the supplier which is actually that's the supplier so I select the supplier and then I will complete the operation. Good. So we have something like a receipt where you can see all the details about the item that has been supplied. So let me cancel this and go back to the item list. So for this item, you can see that the quantity has increased and you can also check uh, the item history by accessing this button here, product history. And here you can see all the item history. Yes, that means everything which has been made with this item. You can see the supplying, the sale, the sale, the sale. You can also see the last action, which is actually the last supply that we did. 120 is the cost of this supplier. And the outer and when this action has been performed here. So basically, that's how we make a supply on Nexo POS. Thank you for watching this.